Nation stand up. Welcome back to a, our last episode before the championship game. This is the champion spe hey. championship special, man. Hey. Diaka Flocka, how mm -hmm. you doing, man? Shishi, shishi. Ni hao to all the people in the nation. Let's go over some uh, quick scores from last week. But what has all led up to the semifinals and then to the championship? Pride and Poise took down the local yes. himself by 14 points. In the end, he got the local again twice this year. Two times. 2 0 versus a, a, a respectable opponent. But a respectable, more than respectable, the number two seed. The local, upset, with your quarterback situation and your injuries, you still managed yeah. to get into the semifinals. I watched a lot of Golden State Warriors versus Dallas Mavericks expect the host. Then, God forgives, I don't. I mean, nobody could stop Edgar, yeah. Yeah. Romney, pass, pushing. Uh -huh. 150 hard. points. He's pushing a hard line. We can't make fun of him anymore because the man has moved on farther than the rest still with that number one seed. Yes. And then I called this. I think you called this too and agreed with me on this upset yes. of that week in the first round. Ocho Cinco. Salute to you. The young rook takes down the other rookie in the Guru Nation. The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight rose. Uh, I kind of wish the Dark Knight would have rose again that time because I would have still been. So you okay. could have yeah. Wow. Anyway, and then the guy, he gets in the playoffs but disappoints with only 89 points. He would have been yeah. fraud of the week if we were even. You know what? You might as well just miss the playoffs. Yeah. That's uh, like the that's like the Patriots. I would, would call, I would call it karma. Him. He yeah. he was being he was being a bad sport about making yeah. to the playoffs and knocking me out of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And then just like that, the Gruminati is real. The yes. Gruminati took him down. Mm -hmm. And then the last one in the in the first round. Take us there. The Honey Badger lost to Super Bowl bound. Bowl By about 36 Super points. Super Bowl Bound was a surprise to even get in, and he ended up yeah. getting the fourth seed, seven and six, yeah. with all his trades and maneuvering, and people laughing at him, and mm -hmm. us saying that it was all because of the lucky baby, but the yeah. man made it to the next round, the semifinals, where Pride and Poise took down, took Ocho Cinco head on. Mm. Ocho Cinco I hit a train. on. Fire. He hit a train. Your team just could not withstand all the problems it faced with nope, only 100 points. No quarterback. Points. I had like 10 points from the quarterback. <sighs> Alfred Morris came up in with 23 points. How, yeah. how do you feel about uh, going to next year? Will you have these same injury problems and these, these you know mishaps what? that this happen? Can you two even years control in a row. It? Two years in a row. Two years in a row. Last year you didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, because so, so vast improvements. Yes. So maybe next year. So you're building a team. Again. You're trying to build. You're trying to build this organization. Yeah, you know, it's not gonna happen in one year. It's not gonna happen in one year. You uh, have to have pride in McKen voice. Reggie McKenzie. If you're out there, take some notes from me. Because I went from not getting in the playoffs with yes. injury problems yes. to getting to the playoffs to the second through. round of the playoffs, still with the injury problems. Because you know what? I know how to run a team. And you didn't go and trade the rest of your players. You no. didn't do anything too drastic. You just rolled it out. You won some. You lost some. Yeah. You snuck in. Made it to. My finals. Gotta count your losses. Congrats on that. You represented the, the tandem well. But hey, the Ocho Cinco, great game. 182 points. Ocho, for me to you, go win the championship so I can at least say I lost to the champ. Yes, and go win it for the East. Ocho Cinco is the only one representing the East right now. Pushing a hard line. Took down Super Bowl bound in the other semifinal game. Super Bowl bounds out, man. He lost two to he just could not get the defending champ this year and then we have the dark knight yeah. losing the consolation game to the local local mm -hmm. took him to the arkham asylum yeah. he, he's more local in there yes so i expect the local to come back next year another playoff contender strong i expect dark knight to be competitive these guys here they're all players i mean it's just so hard to get in the playoffs even with eight spots available yes. it was so hard by uh, points uh, very by points so very small. competitively shout out to everyone that didn't even make the playoffs yes everyone had a chance people During, played in the spoiler. last week to the last week Spoilers, up until the last yes. week up until the last I, week. that's amazing now we have the last match here the final matchup the championship match east versus west west david versus goliath yes. can you take take us into this matchup and analyze what do you expect to see Look, versus man. one one versus six i expect to see firepower pushing a hard line first week 151 points second week 151 points He's averaging 151 points in now, the playoffs. Now we can we click onto this matchup and we see his uh his firepower. He has a good problem. He had he had the decision uh decision to make between 
Cam Newton and Andrew Luck. Uh, do you think he stays with Cam here versus Oakland? You know what I, I, I think he does. I think he stays with Oakland with Cam against Oakland. Cam is. I tried to get Cam a few weeks ago. Yes, yes. I, uh, Everybody we, tried we, to take you know, him off for closure. We, we had him. conversations, and he knew, as a true guru knows, that Cam would erupt soon. He, yes, he, he, he did this yeah. last year. Mm-hmm. I traded Cam to him last year, and he beat Mr. Foreclosure and upset. He barely squeaked into playoffs. Very, very, uh, very, very. It's, it's weird because last year he was underdog, and now he's a defending champ going versus the underdog. And you said it to me last week when we were just hanging out, just watching sports. You said, Ocho Cinco, he has too much firepower. Look at this, man. I did too not much. see these. I did not think that these players would bloom into these projected points that they have now. Beautiful. Look at this. Look you know what, Brady against Jacksonville, that's going to be pushing the hard oh, lines. Wow. Maybe his fall down. Jacksonville is prone to give it up. Yeah, but, but we got Brady, A.J. Green, Brandon Lloyd, Jamal Charles, Jaquiz Rogers, who has taken Jonathan on a larger Charles. role now. Dennis Pitta, who you met last week. Golly, 50 freaking points from a tight end. From a tight end. And now, a- one touchdown shouldn't have been a touchdown. The second... 70 yard touchdown he should have been tackled uh, but anyway you know what back to pushing our line defending champ we cannot we cannot uh, underestimate him but this when he took Trent Richardson late a lot of people said uh okay AFC North defense this guy he might get injured he has a bad knee but this kid hey this guy has been a workhorse 10 touchdowns breaks Jim Brown's rookie record on a rushing touchdown speaking of records we got Adrian Peterson oh my on god he's gonna he has to break the record that team is fighting for him big the Minnesota Soda, the whole the whole state wants him to break that record. Yeah. Yeah. Eric Dickerson's record, guys. The 2000 Club. What this AP man has 2K? done is strictly unhuman. AP2K, yeah, unhuman. After coming from the ACL injury, shout out to DJ Gomes. Yeah, what's up, bro? Gave him the ACL yeah. injury, but the man has come He's back. He's come back better. He's come back better. He had too much you muscle in, in that in that quadricep that just helped him heal so fast. And the guy is just exploding at the latter part of the season. And then Jimmy Graham, Steve Smith, man, I don't know. Steve Ken Smith Ocho. may have a big day against Oakland. Guys, check out the projected points right now. Vote on the matchup. Push in a hard line. Ocho Singa has two votes right now. Wow. Maybe some people aren't voting. Maybe this is wow. biased. I haven't voted yet. I will definitely log on and give you my vote. But 152 projected for pushing. 144 for Ocho. So the only remaining beast from, from the, the east. east. Wow. Pushing a hard line wants to bring the pain. Guys, I didn't see this coming. I mean, I could say a lot of favorites for the championship game was pushing a hard line. But Ocho single. We're going to go to seven and six. You know, win. you know what this reminds me of? A few years ago. Wow. When the Eli Manning led New York Giants with that great defense. Wow. Played wow, the wow, favorites. Wow. The, the undefeated the Patriots. Patriots. You know, the wow. favorites. The underdog. I can't sleep on Ocho Cinco. Look at these matchups again. I mean, Cam. You can't make this up. He has the guy from what I just said, quarterback, Brady. Tom Brady. Wow. Well, you up. can't it's write this. Me. The Gruminati is real. Guys, the matchups speak for themselves. Does Cam score more than Brady? Does AJ Green score more than Reggie? V Jack, V Lloyd, all these are great players, all drafted and traded for and moves, maneuvered and guru fight. Here we go. You guys, don't 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 log out and don't forget the guru nation just because you got eliminated from the playoffs. Come and check it out. Watch this and vote. You know what? It's time for our predictions. We've been talking to you guys for a long time and analyzing this because we've been gone for a while. But let's pick our let's pick our winner. I don't know what? if we're I don't know I don't know if we're in agreement. You can go first. <laughs> Man, this is hard. But I'm going to listen to my heart right now. And I'm going to go with the only remaining beast from the East. The man that we groomed and, and discovered and brought him into the league. And he has come up at 7-6. to six And he's here facing chance. I have to go with the underdog here, man. And you can agree with me or not agree with me. He's all from the West. Yes, I know you're from the West. Part of my heart <laughs> he's from is the- repping the West. Pushing. You, you, you win, battled with pushing. You played you know, on the field with pushing. Yes. <laughs> you know we we blood, sweat, tears. And I may have given them given them one of those losses. I'm not sure. I probably did not. But, you know. Oh man. But if you win for the West, man, I won't be I won't be mad. But I I, I really feel Ocho Cinco steps up. Big, but man. here's the thing: numbers never lie. From what I see, the only two losses pushing has had has come. 
come from the East Block. Hey, you can't write this stuff. What's real is real. 11 and 2, two losses come from the East. Who does he play in the championship? An East Block Bro. remaining member, the rookie. If he loses, if he gets killed, this will be very, very embarrassing for the Eagle of Pushing because I know that he has a big Eagle and he expects to take the money. Guys, the money in the bank, $420 to either push it or Ocho. And the second place winner, he gets a little hundred dollars. He goes and takes uh, takes his girl on a nice date or gets a nice nice little Christmas present uh, in, our, in our struggling economy. But with the 420, you can say that you are a true Guru of the year, the G O Y. Guru of the Took year is the one. Money. Is the one that 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 one that wins the whole thing. Takes everybody's money, all Ocho. the money. I got Ocho, man. Wow, Ocho. you too. You're going with Ocho Seiko. All right, Guru Nation, stand up. Hey, it's been a great year. I'm taking off to China. Yeah, D Hawk of Flock is still here representing the Guru Manati, man. Thank. Just quickly, man. Thank you for everybody uh, that. They put their hard yes, work yes. into the league, man. Especially foreclosure. Let me give a shout out to foreclosure. Great, great guy. Fell on hard times this year, but he stayed with it. He's always making moves. That's that's what we're all about, man. Yeah, let's, let's give out. Let's give not a couple give, shout Not, outs, not giving man. up, man. You know, you know, some people just don't never log in again. And yeah, it's I true. respect that, man. After they're losing like that, and we had that problem last year with couple yeah. things that were getting murdered and just stopped coming in and stopped guru fighting. Yeah. Let's give some shout outs to the rookies that came in. Ocho Cinco, The Loco, Honey Badger, Dark Knight. All these guys that didn't play last year, and they came in and they 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 can't camel camp. Uh, the list goes, stats don't so, lie. The man that went from three FOWs wow. to a Guru of the Week. The, U lie, the Udo man. still representing from his, uh, his second year league. Town business. There you go. We got Super Bowl bound the Lucky Baby. We're at Funk Town. Funk Town almost ruined, ruined the playoff lives man. for some people wow. at the end. So Came many, man. Got him. I mean, the list goes on and on. Anything we can improve with this type of stuff, man, just let us know. For real, man. We do this for you guys. We don't get a lot of feedback. We will be more Guru next season. And every season as the seasons go on, as we get older and wiser, the more Guru we get. And if man. the Mayans were right, wow. Let's set up a fantasy football afterlife, man. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Know, man. Guru Nation, man. Stand up. Dark Knight fell down.